Well everyone, I'm going to do a quick video here on external linking. In this exercise, we're going to link Thinkorswim and trade ideas externally. This is the only linking with uh, Thinkorswim that we currently have. Uh, so it's an updated video on this. However, this will apply for external linking for most any broker. Uh, there will be some nuances between the different brokers, which I'll go all, go over in a moment here after we launch. Uh, first thing we want to do is launch both programs in administrative mode or run them as administrator. I think it's always best to start with the target program. In this case, again, Thinkorswim is our target program. We'll right click and we'll select run as administrator. Okay. We'll select that and we'll launch Thinkorswim or whatever target program we're looking for in this case, Thinkorswim again. Uh, we'll do the same now with trade ideas. We'll right click trade ideas, run as administrator. Uh, both time or any time you run a program as administrator, as we're demonstrating here, it will ask if you wish to allow this app to make changes to the device. You'll click yes so that the app actually runs. All right. We'll have both programs start to launch. In this exercise, we're going to link to a TD Ameritrade chart. So I'm going to rearrange a few things. I'm going to bring a TD Ameritrade chart over. Uh, however, in this linking uh, or with external linking, you can link to an order entry box if that's something that you wish. Just be careful that you understand what you're linking to when you're doing the linking. So here's our TD Ameritrade chart, which will be our target in this linking. And we'll bring over a menu bar from Trade Ideas. OK, this is where these actions will happen in the menu bar. So for this action, Again, in this exercise, we'll go to Tools, External Linking, all right? And we can see I have a TD Ameritrade link built here already. I'm going to go ahead and delete that link for this exercise, and we're going to build from scratch. So first thing we'll do is click Add Link. This gives us this box that tells us we want to hover our mouse or cursor over the target window and press Shift. But don't click anything with the mouse when you do this. So for example, do not click over the chart and then click the box and get this pink note right here like this. Uh, doing so won't allow us to build the link. We'll click OK, all right, to get back to this white box. And again, we just want to take the mouse and the cursor, hover it over our target, press Shift, and we can see that the link has been built. All right, there we can see it. Now with TD Ameritrade in this updated video, we're using alternative method. All right, and we're gonna put a check in that box. Now please note, there's a drop down menu for rules here, okay? If you're linking to something other than TD Ameritrade, you might wanna check if there's a rules here for it. So rules that will work if you're linking to Interactive Brokers Live or Interactive Brokers Paper, Wealth Charts, Trend Spider, Trading View is just a few examples. Please note, we do have a Thinkorswim rule. This rule no longer applies as the logic within Thinkorswim itself has changed over the years. And this logic that we built to fit into their program no longer functions in that case. All right. So again, for Thinkorswim, we're going to a rule set of none. OK. With alternative method checked. And again, if you're linking to something other than TD Ameritrade, uh, check to see if there's a rule here. You most likely will not, when linking to other items besides TD Ameritrade, most likely will not use alternate method. We're going to press OK. We can see that the link is here. We will now click back into this box, all right, the order entry box or the chart itself, either way, to make sure that the focus of the program is to there where we're sending the copy paste program. Now we can see down here as I click into any of these symbols. We'll get that to load into the TD Ameritrade box. OK, now TD Ameritrade is funny in the sense that if you click anything else inside TD Ameritrade, it will steal the focus from where you're sending the the symbol to. So if I click studies, for example, all right, and now I click back out of it. When I go to start clicking on symbols, you can see that it's no longer the linking is no longer working. All you have to do again is bring the focus back. You can click on the chart. That will work to bring the focus back. Excuse me, the, not click on the chart. Click on the order entry box or the symbol entry box. That'll bring the focus back. With other programs, you might be able to click on the chart. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it works with TD Ameritrade anymore in this exercise. All right, so by clicking on the chart now, I just took the focus away from where we were going. All right, so it only applies if you click something in TD Ameritrade and on occasion they run background processes that can take your focus away. If that's the case, again, wherever the symbol entry that you built the linking into, click that here and you'll have the linking back again. You can have multiple charts linked in TD Ameritrade. Uh, this is more of a TD Ameritrade thing, but each chart 
will have a link that's here within TD Ameritrade and so you can link items within TD Ameritrade here by picking any of these links that they offer in here okay so just for this uh, example here I'm going to bring over another chart all right while I find this chart. All right, there we go. Let's bring over another TD Ameritrade chart. So we brought over another TD Ameritrade chart and we can see that they both have this red here. And this will apply with several different softwares that we can link to, to always note if they link internally with themselves so that you have your pin charts or your linked charts. And again, as we click, oops, excuse me, because we clicked something in TD Ameritrade, we lost the focus by bringing that chart over. All right, now we'll see the link is built back again. All right, by going to that original link that we built. Again, link is built here, and even though they'll both change together, this is where we need to bring the focus back to, all right, in this updated version as we're showing. We can, again, if I wanted to unlink these charts in TD Ameritrade, I get to make that yellow. I'll click back here in the box, all right, and we can see that the original chart we built the link in will change. This one will remain static, all right? So hopefully this clears anything up with the updates and changes that have been made between TD Ameritrade and Trade Idea Software. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always reach us at info at trade-ideas.com and we'll help get you answered that way. All right, thank you for watching and we'll see you on another video.